Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another Winter Village update. So today I'm going to be building the Winter Market Stall. This is actually not available for purchase anywhere. This is going to be a gift with purchase um, from the previous like no, gift with purchase launch. I don't know. It was this and uh, there was also the Wizard's Hut and then there was a new like smaller castle as well. And then with the Avengers Tower you could get a Marvel Taxi. So a lot of free stuff going on right now which is pretty cool. This right here is probably the smallest of the group for the most part, but I think it's going to be a pretty cool addition to the Winter Village. Um, obviously, last time we added Santa Claus and his sleigh, and before that we started the village with a bunch of white base plates with the snow, and then we did the Holly Jolly Music Store and like Holly Main Street and everything. So this is going to be the next uh, smaller edition. Uh, sorry, it's been a long week. My uh, my voice is not the absolute best today. Um, so sorry, I'm going to talk as best I can, but <laughs> it's a little painful today. Um, but overall... Yeah, so gift with purchases are pretty cool. Essentially, if you're not familiar, if you order on Lego.com, there's like a price threshold for different purchases. Um, like if you spend a hundred bucks, one hundred seventy, two forty, depending on what you actually get, um, you get a free gift with purchase during those promotional periods. For me, um, I got the museum for pre-order. Obviously, I'm doing this afterwards, but um, that essentially earned this in the Wizards Hut. I said not to get the Avengers Tower just yet. Just I want to work through the city and get some more stuff going before I down, uh, you know, 500 bucks on that. So um, for now, we're going to keep updating the Winter Village. I'm still working on some modular ideas in the background as well. Redoing the entire room, so I have a lot more stuff coming to you guys besides just Legos. Um, obviously, like behind me, you can see... There's a lot more pop figures. They're different. I finally found uh, some of my celebrity pictures, too, so that's pretty cool. finally found my uh, autographed Majin Vegeta pop figure. I, I, I'm finding a lot of stuff, finally. <laughs> you know, uh, we put all, like, moving boxes and stuff in a storage unit. It's like, all right, I've got to actually go through some of this. And it's amazing what you find when you look. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so, yeah, the city does look different. If you didn't see anything since my last video, essentially the museum is out finally for December, and it's wonderful. Love it to death. Is inside the Lego City right now. You'll see it in the backdrop for a lot of stuff going forward um, until Marvel Row or anything actually goes in there. But yeah, a lot of stuff going on for the Lego City. This is going to be a pretty quick build. Only 271 pieces, a couple minifigures, but it looks like a pretty cute addition to the city. Um, feel free to let me know in the comment section what you want to see in the city next, what your favorite sets are, what you're looking forward to for the holidays. Definitely let me know. But uh, yeah, I'll see you at the end of the build, everybody. final build like I said this is going to be a pretty quick review so don't expect anything um, too lengthy in terms of like the content here after I do the uh, review on this piece here I'm going to add it to the winter village and as always I do show off the city um, what it currently looks like before I do this but overall we'll start with the minifigures and yes the snowman is going to count as a minifigure today just an overall pretty basic um, standard little snowman for the city he's going to look pretty cool I love the giant carrot nose and the like the little red piece with the scarf. I think that looks great. Then we have a small tree on the background. We have some gold pieces. I did put a little gold piece on top, which is just to signify the little star. I thought it was a nice little addition. But um, some gold ornaments, some red ornaments, and some blue as well. So overall, just a small little tree. I would like to do still a like little tree lot, but I'm not 100% sure yet just because... I don't know what I'm adding next to the Holiday Village besides the uh, huge Christmas tree, so I'm just not sure yet what I want to do um, for the rest of the winter season. Here we have a female minifigure. She has a really cool sweater vest on. It's going to look great in the city, and she, of course, runs this shop right here, has a coffee mug in her hand. And then this little guy breaking out a $100 bill, which, you know what, kid? Makes sense, given the, the economy nowadays. Uh, so he has a little little um black black hair piece here which looks a little bit different like with his little freckles i was expecting him 
um, to have a red headpiece. Uh, I was just surprised that they actually broke out like a jet black one. And I was looking throughout my city. This is the only kid that has a black hair piece. So I don't know if that's rare or not, but I, I was confused. Because I'm like, wow, that, that really is the only one I have in my collection. Uh, or at least on display in the city as now. So that's pretty cool. I didn't notice that at first. And then, for the actual city itself, or not for the city, but the actual uh, little market stall here, we have a small cash register up front, which looks pretty cool. It even has like the little lever on the side. I think that looks great. Then across the entire bottom, we do have red and green accents with some really cool brown molding on the side, which you, hopefully you can see. Then we have some garlanded red and green matching up top, and then some small brown decorations as well. We have a little chimney piece up top. I really like the uh, sloping sides as well. I think that looks pretty cool. Of course, they come up and down if you ever want to see the structure for some reason. And then up top, you do have some presents being stored up here. I suppose you could open it up if you really wanted to see into like the presents, but that'd be pretty much it. And even then, they're going to be pretty hard to see given that this is pretty solid. On the bottom, we do have a train. You can see the little support structures in there. I love the openings from each side. And like this little curvature here, I think it looks really cool on the actual inside itself. Again, back into the cash register, then we have a small rocket over here. And my personal favorite, the nutcracker, because who doesn't love nutcrackers this time of year? Um, but yeah, so overall, very cool gift with purchase. This is going to be something pretty different for winter villages out there. Um, you know, you always see, like, the same buildings for modulars and stuff, which is why custom stuff or smaller pieces like this that are kind of forgotten about or people don't even recognize that are, like, a thing. Because, I mean, I'll be honest, if you didn't order during the holidays, you're probably not going to have this, which is pretty cool, I would say. Um, and then same thing when I add to, like, the small creator fountain to, like, my town square. I had no idea that was a set from like eight years ago because it was just something that you didn't really see and you, that you don't see anymore. So I do love adding smaller pieces like this to the city just to add a little bit of depth um, and Lego lore, you know? I mean, I think it's pretty cool. So now I'm going to show off the current status, status of the Lego city so we can see where this is headed. All right, so here is the current Lego city. You can see the brand new museum in the background. I absolutely love that set. That is the previous final addition to the city. I love it so much. I'm working on choosing the next modular building, so stay tuned for that. In terms of the Holiday Village, I did move a few things around in this city. So in the background, I did move the small museum, the firehouse, and then the Lego shop that was originally up here. Again, those three are not going to be staying there, but for now, um, it at least adds a little bit of depth to the city. So I cleared out a small space right in here, which of course is going to be probably one peg too big. Actually, no, nope, it fits perfectly. That is by pure accident. I did not plan on that fitting. Wow. See? Miracles. I still get to move the ice cream shop at some point, just because it's obviously not going to stay there, but for now, um, it does look kind of cool, just as a whole, just kind of sitting there. So, we'll add a couple of the minifigures, add the shopkeeper in there. Which I should have done beforehand, because it would have been a lot easier. A little current train. And then, add the little guy. About to spend all of his savings probably on one toy. <laughs> Hopefully he grabs a Lego. And there we have it. So that is the overall look at the Winter Village right now. I love it. I think it's really coming together. Obviously, yes, it's much shorter, and that won't be in line with the rest of the buildings. I, um, I'm still debating how we want to do this, because, yes, we have two buildings, a small detail, Santa Claus and his sleigh. We have a medium-sized tree that we're exchanging for a huge tree. Um, I might honestly be putting that out on Christmas Day. I'm kind of thinking that's going to be my Christmas video, just adding the big tree to the city. I think that would kind of be poetic fitting. But now that this museum is here... I'm also running out of space for modular buildings. That back corner where the small Avengers Tower is, is not going to stay there. So eventually, the Haunted District and the Winter Village need to move. But then it's tough because I don't have like enough space for all of this um, in the top just yet because I've been using it for like spare Lego sets and like storage material and stuff like that. So I've got to get that cleared out. I've been saying that for weeks, and I did half of it. And then I put more stuff on top of it, because as you can see, like Grimald Place is gone, the town square is gone. That's all stuff that's originally going to be like planned for down here for now until I get bigger modular buildings. But 
Um, so yeah, I don't know what is all happening for now. I think the Haunted District will be moving very, very shortly. I'm one modular away from having to make some bigger changes into the city. That road might be changing as well. And I talked about this more in my last video, but I do um, want to let you know, like, yeah, I think the Holiday Village is, or the Holiday uh, Village is going to stay for now, just because it is the holiday season. I want it to stay. I want this to be, like, the focal point of the city for now. But the minute the holidays are over and we start getting into full swing, like, the hospital is just kind of there for now. The ice cream shop's just kind of there for now. Same thing with the three buildings behind it. I don't think I'll make a full district this year. I don't think I'll have the time, especially if I'm adding to the rest of the city. It's going to be kind of tough. But I do think since uh, Halloween is over that the Haunted District is going to move to the top of the city here. Um... When, it, you know, there's not too much going on up there. It's just a train station and some spare buildings right now. The up house is also up there as well. So, um, it's just kind of hanging out right now. I think once the Haunted District goes up there, I can start clearing a path for the Holiday Village as well. And really getting that all situated. Don't worry. They're still going to be next to each other. They're still going to have this rivalry that I'm working on. Um, you know, who doesn't want to see Santa versus a vampire in a Lego city? I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, look forward to lots and lots of changes and lots of projects coming forward to you guys soon. Thank you again for joining me for a, a small build, but something that's going to be pretty cool in the LEGO City. Um, remember, stay safe, stay jolly this time of years. Um, reach out to anybody if you need any help during the holidays. Don't feel free. Um, don't hesitate to talk to anybody about what's going on in your time of the year. Um, it's stressful at the holidays, you know, life's really busy, and don't feel free to reach out for help, everybody. So, thank you so much for joining me on another build. Feel free to check out the rest of the channel, like and subscribe and comment if you can. Let me know what your favorite holiday uh, villages are, or village sets are. Let me know what sets you're hoping for for Christmas, and I'll see you next time. Happy building, folks.